Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things, and today I have a card to share with you that could be a Christmas card, but it also could just be used as a wintry hello to a friend. I started out this card by getting out a piece of Arches cold pressed watercolor paper and taping it down to a board. Using a large flat brush and my Gonzai Tombi watercolors, I created a background for my card. I really wanted the color on this background to be very vibrant, so I didn't wet down my paper before I started adding the paint. This background is going to be a nighttime sky scene right after sunset, so I started with a magenta color on the bottom, and I slowly worked my way up towards the top to a very, very dark blue color. After the first layer of color dried completely, I went over the entire thing again with a second layer of color so that the colors would be very dark and very vibrant. I let the whole thing dry again and then I took a smaller paintbrush and got it really saturated with white watercolor and then I tapped it over the top so that I could get this snowy effect on the background. I set that aside to dry and I pulled out the Frost Loving Friends stamp set from My Favorite Things and I picked out one of the images and stamped it with some black ink onto some white cardstock. I'm going to color this image in with my Copic markers, and I do have the marker caps off to the side in case you're curious about any of the colors that I'm using. I really love this image of the bunny and his little friend. I'm not exactly sure if his little friend is supposed to be a bird or a baby penguin. I like to think of him as a baby penguin, but he's probably supposed to be a bird, but either way, it's really adorable. Now that I really think about it though, I think he might be a little baby penguin because those, those little feet kind of look like penguin feet and not bird feet, but who knows? Anyways, because the background is a nighttime scene, I kind of wanted the coloring on these two to really match that nighttime scene background, so I decided to use mostly cooler tones. So I colored in the bunny using some gray colors, and then when I colored in the little penguin, I decided to color him a dark blue instead of going with black, which actually works out because if he is a bird, he could just be a bluebird. I'm sorry, I can't get off of this bird and penguin thing. I'm, j I'm just going to say it. He's a penguin. He's a, he's a baby penguin. It's my card so I can make him what I want, and I want him to be a penguin, and his name is... Chuck. And we'll call his bunny friend Bun Bun because every time I see a little bunny I call it Bun Bun. So we've got Chuck and Bun Bun. I'm really sorry about that tangent. I'm in a weird mood tonight. But anyway, for the bunny, for the white sections on him, his belly and his mouth and a little bit on the ears, I did something kind of interesting. So typically for white areas, I would shade it with a gray marker, either a warm gray marker or a cool gray marker. For this one, I probably would normally pick a cool tone gray marker for the white shading, but I decided to mix it up and I used this really light pink color, which is called Ash Rose. And I really like the way that that looked. So I ended up just filling in all of those lighter areas on the bunny with the ash rose color. And because I liked it so much on the bunny, I ended up adding that same color to the lighter areas on the penguin. Once I finished coloring in the bunny and the penguin, I decided to take a really light blue color and go over all of the gray area on the bunny to just make him look even more like he's in that nighttime scene. It makes the gray area a little bit more blue tone. I used the coordinating die and I lined it up with the image and then I ran it through my die cutting machine to cut this out. Now, originally when I was planning this card, it was going to be a five by seven card, which is why I made that watercolor background so large. But when I cut out that bunny, I thought that proportionally, it would look much better on an A2 sized card. So I have to figure out exactly which part of that background I'm going to use. 
the problem was is I really wanted all of the different colors of that sky to show in my background. So in order to kind of fix this so that it works, I ended up taking a couple of colors of Distress Oxide ink and blending them on top of the background to bring that darker blue lower down so that I could get the, the full range of the colors. This did cover up some of the snow that I have in the background and it made it a lot lighter than the bright white that it was, but I wasn't bothered enough by that to create an entirely new background. So the colors of Distress Oxide ink that I used there were Chipped Sapphire and Black Soot. And as you already saw, I have a panel of white cardstock with an oval cut out of it, and that's going to be used on top of the background. So that's what I was using to kind of see which area of the background was going to show. I cut out the portion of the background that I planned on using, and then I adhered it onto an A2 size card base using my tape runner. I then took the panel of cardstock with the oval cut out of it, and this panel is slightly smaller than an A2 size, and I popped it up with foam tape on top of that background. I picked out a sentiment from the stamp set and I stamped it with Versamark ink onto some black cardstock, which I had prepped with a powder tool, and then I embossed that with a white embossing powder. I cut that sentiment down into a strip and then I took my little bunny and penguin image and I added some foam tape to the top of it and some liquid adhesive to the bottom and I placed it onto my card. Then I took that sentiment strip and as you can see I added some ribbon edges on the sides and I used foam tape in the middle of that and liquid glue on the side to adhere that at the top. To finish up this card, I picked out a few different sequins and I placed them across the background and then I adhered them with some liquid adhesive. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really liked today's card design and that it gave you some inspiration for your own cards. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time.